Hello everybody, it's Mr. Paul here with another phonics lesson. Now to start this lesson, we are going to revise some sounds we've learnt before. And we're going to do that by playing bingo! Yes, you will need a pen or a pencil and a piece of paper, or like me, a whiteboard. Okay, you're going to draw two lines down, like this and one across. That gives us one, two, three, four, five, six boxes. Now, you can choose where you write the sounds. So you could write it here, 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 here. You can start anywhere. Everyone will be different. The first sound I'd like you to write is A. A, not the letter A, which makes the sound A, ah, but the letters a and I, which make the sound A. See if you can write it before me. So it's the letters A and I that make the sound A. A? Like in the word brain or chain. OK, now the next thing I'd like you to write is ooh, ooh. Ooh, but I would like you to write it with two letter L's. Two letter L's. Ooh. One. Two. Like in the word pull. P. Uh. Ooh. Ooh. Very good. Now, I would like you to write shh. <laughs> the letters S and H. The letters S and H make the sound shh. Okay, next I would like you to draw. She's very furry, she's very sweet. It's Wendy the cat. There we go. Pause the video if you need more time to do that. Uh, next, I would like you to write k, k, k. <laughs> but I would like you not to write it with the letter C or the letter K, but with the letters C and K together. Both of them together, like in the word luck. All a uh, luck. K. There we go. And the last one I would like you to do is y, y, y. Like in the word yoghurt. The letter Y. Pause the video if you need more time to write them and when we're ready we'll play bingo. Okay everybody so we're going to play for the full house that means you need to get every single one crossed off before you can shout bingo, okay? When, when you've done it, don't forget to shout bingo really loud. Right, first one I'd like you to cross off is ooh, ooh, ooh. Like in the word p, ooh. That's right, it's this one here, isn't it? Cross it off. Next, shh. Where is it? Shh. Yes, it's this one. Okay, next I would like you to cross off wa e n d e wa e n d e wa e n d e Wendy, cross off Wendy the cat. Bye bye Wendy. Now, could you cross off a a This one here. Next. You, 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 you. For yogurt. Well done. Oh, only one more to get. Could you cross off? Bingo! Well done, everybody. How super. Now help me to get rid of this. Let's count down. Three, two, one. Ah, 
Now we have something left up on the board here. Let's see what we've got. We've got the letters E and E. And together they make the sound E. So let's say that together. The letters E and E make the sound E. <laughs> it's a bit like, well, this word here. Let's sound it out. S all e s all e sleep sleep. I think Wendy's asleep at the moment. Shh! Don't wake her up. Okay, let's pop this over here. Now, don't forget the letter e by itself just makes the sound e. Eh. That's e. Eh. But when we have two of them. Together, it makes the sound E. There we go. So today, we are going to look in the bag to see things that have the E sound in them. Now, this spelling of E is never at the start of a word. It can be in the middle of a word or the end of a word. That said, there's lots of things in here that have E in them. Let's find out what they are. There's only one way to do that. Get ready to sing. What did the teacher have in his bag? 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 E, 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 E. E, E. Now the first thing in my bag today. Goodness, it's heavy. Oh, interesting. Let me open this up. Oh, it's a pair of binoculars. Yes, you can use these to look at birds in the garden. Yes, you can use them to see things that are far away. See. I can see you in my binoculars. Our word is see. Now let's stretch it out so we can spell it. See. See. Now we must sound it out. S. E. S. E. That's S. E. <laughs> now we can write it. You'll need a whiteboard and pen or a pencil and a piece of paper. Pause the video if you need to go and get them. Ready to write it? Three, two, one. S E. S. And then E. The letters E and E. I see. <laughs> Pause the video if you need more time. Once you've finished, give yourself a tick you got it right. If you need to make any changes, you can do that and then give yourself a tick. Two ticks if you beat me, if you did it before me. Wow. Now, what else have I got in my bag today? Let's have a little look. Get ready to sing. What did the teacher have in his bag? 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 E, 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 E. Next thing in my bag today. Oh, look. Sheep. One woolly sheep. Won't stand still, running around on the hill. It's a sheep, a woolly sheep. I might stick him up here. Let's just get my blue tack. Sheep. Now, let's stretch that word out so we can hear every sound. Ready? Sheep. Sheep. Now let's sound it out. Sh, e, p, sh, 
一吧，嘘，一吧。Now we sounded it out. We can spell it, can't we? Can you do it before me? Ready? Go. Shh. Remember, shh is the letters S and H. Shh. Then it's E. Shh. E. Shh. E. P. Yes. Shh. E. Sheep. Pause the video if you need more time. Now, if you got it right, give yourself a tick. Two ticks if you wrote it before me. Don't forget, you can make any changes after you've finished and then give yourself a tick. Well done. Let's see what's next in the bag that has the E sound in it. What did the teacher have in his bag? 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 E, 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 E. e. Make sure you do all the E's with me. Ah, now it's one of. Wendy's toys. It is Freddy the Frog. Freddy the Frog. What colour is Freddy? Freddy? Yeah, he's green, isn't he? Green. Our word is green. Stretch it out. Green. Green. Hmm, now sound it out. G. R. E. N. G. Er, e n, so that's g, er, e n. Now can you write it before me? Have a go. Ready, steady, go. So start with g. Don't forget the tail. G then er, then e. Green. Give yourself a tick if you got it right. Two ticks if you did it before me. Don't worry if you're still writing it. You can pause the video, and you can make any changes if you need to. So there's one more thing in my bag today. Let's sing along to find out what it is. What did the teacher have in his bag? 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 E, 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 e. E is everywhere, isn't it? Let's see. Where's that bag gone? I'm gonna reach in. Ow! Ooh! Ow! Ooh! Something's bitten me! Ouch! Ouch! Oh! Here's a pair of teeth! Teeth! Hmm! <laughs> How funny! Teeth! Our word is teeth. Stretch out that word. Teeth! Teeth! You can hear every sound when you stretch it. Sound it out. T. E. So that's t, e, and then th. Now spell it. Can you do it before me? Ready? Go. So t, t, e, e, and then th. Remember that one? The letters. T and H together. T e th teeth. Very, very good. Those teeth were a little bit sharp. <laughs> Two ticks if you wrote that before me. And if you got it right, give yourself a tick. 
If you need to make any changes, you can. When you have done that, oh, what we need to do before we move on to this is we need to come up with a sentence, don't we, to say aloud, to practice those words. So you might say, I see a sheep. You might say, I've got green teeth. Oh, I hope not. Make sure you brush your teeth every morning and every night and then your teeth will stay white, and not green. It's up to you what you say. So you can use one of those words or as many as you like. Say it to your mum, your dad, your brother or your sister, your cat or your dog, your teddy or say it to me. When you've done that, I'd like you to get your new Sound Phonics book. This is Phase 3, Book 2. So we've finished with Book 1 now. And even though there are some gaps in that book, um, you can finish that off in your own time, perhaps in the half-term holidays. Turn to page number seven. So we've got the E sound here. Let's say it together. E. 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 Your turn to say it. Now you need to look at all of the pictures. If they have the E sound in them, you draw a circle around them. For example, feet. E got the E sound in it, hasn't it? Eat. So you draw a circle. Check all of the pictures and draw a circle if it has the E sound. <coughs> then turn to page number eight. Now, there are some words here that have the E sound and there are some words that have the E sound. If it's got the E sound, you colour it in. If it's only got the E sound with one letter E, you don't colour it in. So that's j eep, j eep, jeep, and sh e d sh ed shed. E e. Don't colour any in, in any of the sweets that just have e. They have to have two letter e's to make the sound e. Make sure you read all of the words and say them out loud. When you finish that, that's all of your phonics for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you tomorrow for more phonics. Bye for now.